My name is Eddie Hamilton. I'm a film editor. I've worked on Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, Kingsman, The Golden Circle, Kingsman, The Secret Service, Kick-Ass, X-Men First Class, and right now I'm uh, finishing up Mission Impossible Fallout. I got into editing when I was about 17 um, by hooking two VHS machines together and putting my copy of Alien Special Edition on one side and a blank tape on the other side and just copying all the greatest hits of my favourite bits over. And I discovered that hours would fly by in the, in the creative process, you know. And I, I, now I, I've discovered that I love the combination of storytelling and technology. I actually failed to get into film school. I applied to the National Film School, the Royal College of Art. D didn't, didn't manage to get in at the time, but I, I was undeterred. I got a job as a runner in a post-production facility. Taught myself how to use every single piece of kit that they had. It was in the early days of Avid Media Composer. Um, and so I, I was able to learn how to use that system. But I, my, my passion was always movies, you know, feature length storytelling. And so in, uh, in the late 90s, I contacted some people at Ealing Film Studios who were making a very low budget movie. And I said, have you guys got an editor? And they said no. So I got in my car and I drove down to meet them. And I said, listen, I really want to work on your movie. Would you let me do it? And, and, and they said, sure. And, you know, for virtually no money. But I, I, I quit my job and managed to buy one of their old secondhand media composers that they had. And I used that to edit the movie. One of the big breaks that I had was in 2001 when I when I worked with Matthew Vaughan on a film called Mean Machine that had Vinnie Jones playing football in prison. So that was really how, um, how I got started in the industry. In the, in the kind of mid-90s when, when Avid started, it was uh, very expensive to buy the equipment. And so you had to work at a post facility that could and afford to invest in that equipment. And um, I used to spend you know, every evening and every weekend sitting there trying to figure it out. We worked in a resolution called AVR3E and we had tiny hard drives and, you know, the quality was incredibly blocky, but I've seen the evolution of the, of Avid Media Composer hardware and software over the years into sort of online standard definition and then offline high definition. And now with Mission Impossible Fallout, we're working in ultra high definition, 2160p, using a, a codec called DNxHRLB, which is only 144 megabits per second. So if for the nerds out there, you'll realize that that's not an enormous amount of data for an incredibly high quality image. The benefits of working at 2160p are enormous. And it means that, you know, all the film is scanned at 4K and all the digital files are transcoded to 2160p and the, the, the quality of the image for the offline edit, if you call it even, call it an offline now, but in terms of being able to see enormous resolution and quality of the image and to sort of spoil the director really early on in the process is fantastic, you know. And the, the developments that Avid Media Composer has made in the last four or five years have allowed us to adopt that and, you know, take it onto a big movie like Mission Impossible Fallout. Using Avid Media Composer as a tool for editing, once you get incredibly fast at it, it does become second nature and you work as fast as you can think and you can try lots of things out. And initially, when you're on your own, you can make loads of mistakes and nobody needs to know because you can just undo them or, or put them away. And um, you only, you, you revise things and you show stuff to the director that you want to see. If you want to become an editor, um, the first decision you have to think about is what part of the industry do you want to end up in? Because, because a lot of the film industry and especially post-production is, is a ladder that you climb. And it's important that you think about what you enjoy watching and the kinds of things that you may want to end up editing. You're going to climb a ladder to, to become the very best at that thing. And um, initially, you know, there's a lot of stuff to learn technically about, um, you know, data rates and codecs and frame rates and, and file formats and all the different cameras and how to record sound, how to sync sound, you know, how to manage metadata, how to manage media. The best way to do that is to, is to get a job as a runner in a post-production facility in, in ideally, you know, one of the larger ones. Certainly in London, you've got people like Molinaire or Evolutions or Envy. Um, you can go and work for one of them for two or three years and really learn about the, uh, the, the technical side of the industry and you'll make loads of mistakes and you'll learn never to do them again. It's very important also that if you want to be an editor that you edit and of course you have all the tools that you're available. There's a version of Avid Media Composer called Avid Media Composer First which is completely free to download and so you know you can go and film something on your phone 
uh, and then edit it over the weekend and then and put it on YouTube and people can watch it straight away on a, on a Sunday night. There's a theory that you need to spend about 10,000 hours doing something to become really good at it, which is about four years if you're doing it for 10 hours a day, five days a week. And then um, with a bit of luck and a bit of persistence, you will eventually succeed because everyone else will have, you know, will not be able to to cut it so stay focused stay excited about the goals work incredibly hard you know keep your sense of humor and then and tell people that you want to edit and you'll find collaborators and you if you if you work hard and you um you're creative and you're collaborative then people will recommend you and you'll find that you evolve you know climb the ladder slowly and work your way up the industry like i did over you know 25 years